Well, hello. I hope that you are doing okay. It's been a little bit of a bumpy year for all of us. I wanted to come by and say thank you for all the support you've given me throughout this year. It is much appreciated. It's been a bit of a difficult year for myself and other musicians, but no harder than people who have maybe lost someone or who have been ill. So there are worse things um, than not being able to play or be on a stage or perform or go to a show. Let's hope that next year um, will give us much more opportunities to be able to perform and to go and see stuff because it really is uh, uplifting for all of us. This year though there have been other things happening. Uh, we It is the anniversary of The Same Sky this year and we recorded a show at the Queen's Hall on the 22nd of November 2019. Um, it took a long time to organise for various reasons. Some of it was COVID, COVID based. Um, but finally we got the Masters from Ross Hamilton and he did a fantastic job of mixing and mastering so it sounds great and then Chris Kesiak took over with the editing and it went backwards and forwards a bit with me and him for some time but I think we've done a really good job of what happened on the night it's the anniversary show same sky anniversary show with some special guests and um, some really cracking tracks you might not have expected us to do so that is being manufactured um, of all places in Europe, in Germany. So we may well get caught up with another uh, delay um, in getting the product to us, which is due um, in the UK on, originally it was due on, the, I think it's the 12th of January, which would have meant I would have sent it out almost immediately. But again, I, I won't promise it until it's in my hands. Uh, in the meantime, we did do a trailer, which you can see on social media. Um, uh, it's never not going to. It's, that's probably a good example of the excitement of, of the night. The other thing that was going on underneath this year was uh, I had a portrait painted uh, by the great artist based in London, Roxana Halls. And she approached me and asked to do my portrait. And I, I was like, oh, little old me. Oh, OK. I've not really had a proper painting by a proper artist before, so it was a real honour to, to go uh, to her studio and uh, for her to work on my portrait. I actually didn't see it until September this year, mm, although it was finished long before that. And uh, one of the curators from the Scottish galleries um, came and saw it, Imogen Gibbons, and uh, loved it. And the whole process is quite complicated. They have lots of discussion and meetings about what they want to acquire for the nation. And the, the horse portrait became one of the acquisitions. And it was very hard to keep it under my hat, I can tell you, because you can tell I like, I like to tell everybody good news. So I, I, kept, I managed to not tell many people at all, just those who were close to me. And finally, the news was revealed um, last week and to my great honour it is hanging in the great hall of the National Portrait Gallery of Scotland in Edinburgh and I'm not allowed to go and see it because of Covid restrictions and nor is Roxana allowed to come up to see it so we hope to do that as soon as possible next year whenever we can. Uh, so gigs march april may june shows booked national tour moved several times now and still not aware aware of what the possibilities are for doing shows um if we can do them we will but the main priority is people's health and people's safety yours and ours um so we will do the shows if it's deemed possible or safe to do. Um, I really hope so because I so miss, I so miss that. Um, I'm at this moment now looking at trying to reschedule once more 
um, your, all tickets will be valid for that. Um, there are a couple of live op opportunities coming up. One will be at the end of January. I'm going to do a performance for Happy Valley Pride. And also I've been approached by Fife to do a show for them, which will be in March. I think it's March the 21st. Um, and that'll be myself and maybe a couple of band members. So there's a couple of live things coming up. Um, next year is a year in which I'm very aware of not having a new product for a long time, a new album. So I'm starting the work for that. Um, who knows when that will come out, but I'm actively working on um, doing it, making it happen, writing, um, singing, writing. Uh, so th there are a lot of great things going to be happening next, next year. Some of it will happen whether there's lockdown or not. Um, so keep in touch with me and look at all of the stuff on social media. Um, I am sitting in for Ian Anderson, the Ian Anderson show on BBC Radio Scotland. And I've done a few shows. I've got a few more shows still to go. The next show is the 27th and the one after that is the 28th. And I'm doing three and four of January. So come in, listen. It's a very, very enjoyable couple of hours. Um, there are a few different tracks in there that perhaps Ian wouldn't play, um, but just it's a really lovely selection of things. If you can't listen on the night, you can listen again on uh, the BBC player. I always link to it anyway. So I won't see you this side of Christmas, but I'll be just over um, on the 27th, 28th doing Ian Anderson show. But in the meantime, sending you lots of love from me um, and I hope you're safe and I hope you have a really, really enjoyable time. Whoever you choose to spend it with or however you choose to spend it, I hope it's warm and full of love. Uh, and I will see you next year. Take care of yourselves. <laughs>